Hey guys, welcome to the OG Duffy Eats channel. Now it is January here in the UK and it is very, very cold indeed. Oh yes. So, I'm at work, it's lunchtime. And you know what? I've had enough of having these sandwich meal deals that we get from supermarkets and places like, you know, like a sandwich, a pack of crisps and a drink for like three, four notes. I want something hot, something warming. But I don't want to break the bank either. So I'm off to Iceland to pick up some ready meals that I can keep in the freezer at work and uh, stick in that microwave so I can have a bit of a ding dinner at lunchtime. Oh, yes. So let's get to Iceland. Let's see what I can find. Back from Iceland there, as you can see that, I've got them free meals. Now, free for a time, that weren't bad, because this is the luxury range. I mean, if I'd have gone for the cheaper range, I would have I've got it even cheaper, of course. It makes no makes perfect sense, doesn't it? But I'll tell you another thing. While I was in there, it was Tuesday, so it's the over 60s day. And if you're over 60, um, you get an extra 10% off. So actually, you know, it's quite a big saving if you're making a big shop. So uh Bit of a tip there for you guys, if you're of a certain age, which I am not. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go in, have one of these ready meals, and I will give you my verdict on the Iceland luxury range. Is it everything it's cracked up to be? The microwave has just beeped, which means only one thing. Oh, yes, my beef and pancetta al forno lasagna is ready. It doesn't smell too bad as it goes, so let's crack it open. Let's get it out of there. I followed the instructions. I pierced the film lid, and I will now remove the film. And, oh, the heat coming off that is, is hot, as you would imagine. But does it taste any good, guys? So there it is out of the packet, guys. It actually looks and smells very, very nice indeed. But again, as we say, it's always the proof is in the pudding. So I should have a knife, really. But I'm going to dig in, dig some gaps into this to let it cool down. And then we'll munch into it. But before we do that, let's go take a look at them all-important ingredients list. So there we go. A total of 10 minutes in the microwave. But... It's a 450 gram serving for the whole thing. Let's just get that held up there. There we go. So as we can see there, it contains one serving. So the energy levels in that is 769 calories. Fat. Oh, that's a heavy lot of fat. And the saturates are heavy as well. Look, 19.2. Uh, carb is 49. But again, it, it says it's luxury. So I'm assuming that's the cheese and everything that's put it over. Beef, 32%. That's not bad, is it? Uh, egg pasta. I can't see anything in there that is naughty. Uh, you've got your, your typical concentrated juices of beef, beef extract, etc. Tomato paste. It does actually sound too bad. Hmm. So I've dug my way in, guys. And as you can see there, it looks all right. It's piping hot, as you would expect. But proof is in the pudding. Verdict's still out. I need more. Mashed it up a good bit now. So, uh, yeah, get the proper taste test. Though. As we can see there, plenty of bits of the song and stuff going on now. Look at that. Oh, yes. There we go, guys. Looks very good. First impressions, it's not too bad actually, very tasty, warming, hot.
There's a certain ingredient in that that is unfamiliar to me. Certain taste. Quite enjoyable. All important though, out of 10, what would I give this? Well, hmm. Hmm. Okay, my verdict. So I've probably eaten about a third of it, so I'm now in a position to give you a good overview of that. Oh yes, the luxury that is the uh, <laughs> the lasagna from Iceland. There it is. There, the beef and pancetta al forno. Um, the beef mint in it is pretty decent. It doesn't taste like um, you know cartilage and lips and lungs and all that. So that's a that's a bonus in itself. There was sort of no eyeballs peeping up at me when I was eating it, and no bits of cow's hoof, etc. Although I'm sure there'll be traces of dodging bits in there if I was to really put it under the microscope. But you know what? That's actually quite tasty. It's not bad at all. It's not the tastiest um, lasagna I've ever had. My wife does a better one. But you know what? All in all, it's not too bad. It does what it says in the tin. And I think you've got to work out that was £3.33 pence reoccurring. And the fact is, it's cold out there. It's warmed me up. So all in all... I'm not complaining of that one, guys. So there we have it. Would I have it again is the question. And you know what? I probably would, actually. It's not bad at all. Um, as I said there, it's not the tastiest I've ever had. So out of 10, what am I giving that? I'm going to go for a 7. Okay? It's 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 not cheap. It doesn't taste cheap. You know what I mean? It's uh, all right. And the ingredients in it are pretty, pretty decent. So uh, all in all, well done, Iceland. You've warmed me up. You've warmed up this old Englishman who was cold on this January day. Anyway, guys, I've been OG Duffy Eats. If you don't already, do so at that subscribe button. But most importantly, like and comment. Have you had this luxury range? What other ones would you suggest to me? And uh, what other items that are there in Iceland are worth me reviewing and checking out? Do drop those in the comments. And of course... Hit that subscribe button because you make me happy, man. Puts a smile on my face. Hey. Anyway, guys, see you on the next one.